Hey you guys, it's Delightful Dork coming to you once again from my closet. I hope you're all doing well. I'm very happy to be able to finally take some breaks from the craziness that is my life and record some more content for you guys. I am recording this on July 20th, which means that tomorrow, or the day you'll be listening to this most likely, is the one year anniversary of me uploading my very first audio. It's insane to me that it's already been a year and just how much has changed in that time. I think back to my first few audios and how I basically had no idea what I was doing and I was just hoping to get, you know, 25, maybe 50 subscribers. And now a year later, we're almost 8,000 subscribers strong here on YouTube. Plus Reddit, Patreon, Twitter, it's all completely unbelievable to me. And I'm grateful for each of you every single day. So as just a little thank you for all of your support, I'm going to be answering the questions that you sent in. There are quite a few, so let's jump right in. Favorite thing about yourself? By the way, love your videos, they make me calm. Oh, I'm so glad. Favorite thing about myself? I have a couple things. Um, I like that I'm funny. Um, I have a tendency to make people laugh, so I enjoy that. And I like my singing voice as do several of you, so I'm glad that I get to share that gift with the world. Have you watched or read Harry Potter? And if yes, who is your favorite character? I have watched and read Harry Potter. Um, my favorite character is... It's hard to pick between Hermione and Luna, because I love them both so much, but I think if I had to choose one, I would say Hermione. What was your favorite childhood memory? I think just all the times, so I grew up and still live in a town that's right on the shores of Lake Michigan, and my family and I, every Sunday, we used to just take drives down by the lake and go to the beach and just enjoy that atmosphere. So just spending that time with my family. Very, very simple, but we did it a lot, and I always remember it fondly. Do you have a sibling? Yes, I do have a sibling. I have one sibling. I have a brother. And he is three and a half years younger than me. What could you easily sit and talk about all day? Musicals. My friends and family have had to endure that on a number of occasions. Because once I get talking about theater, I don't shut up. <laughs> and I'm sorry to everyone who's had to listen to me do that, but that is my best topic. If I went on Jeopardy and there was a topic about Broadway musicals, I can probably clear the category. Would you like to learn another language? Yes. So I love learning languages. I'm already, I'm fluent in English and Spanish, um, but I have a couple others I really want to learn. I want to learn Japanese, just because I think it would be cool to speak Japanese. And a good portion of my family um, on my mom's side is Finnish, and I've always wanted to learn some Finnish too. What is one food you couldn't live without? Pickles. Dill pickles. <laughs> I just love them. I just eat them as a snack, like just straight out of the jar. I put them on all my sandwiches. I really like pickles. <laughs> what inspired you to make ASMR slash audio vids? Um, I've talked about this a little bit in the past, but there were a couple of factors. Um, one of them was just quarantine boredom, missing uh, my theater family and my ability to go out and perform and have my you know, creative space. So that's, that was the first thing. But the other thing was that I was a major fan of, and I always bring up her specifically, but there were other channels who inspired me, but Dangerous ASMR specifically inspired me to want to try to making audios because I loved what she did. And I wanted to try to make those kind of like immersive worlds that she made with her audios. So she was the one who inspired me and I've been very lucky to have her kind of along this whole journey as a mentor and a friend. Will you ever do a little space video? I definitely can. I can add that to the list if that's what people want to hear. For sure. Do you take script requests? Like a script on Reddit to fill? Yes, for sure. If there's a script that you think that you want to hear me fill, by all means, like, 
comment on this video or DM me on Twitter. I'll, I'll look at it for sure. What's the one question you're fed up of being asked? Oh, God. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten this as much as other creators have, but the whole, you know, will you make a female for male audio? No, I won't. Sorry. There's your answer right there. I will not be making female for male videos. Hi, I love your content. Thank you. What's your favorite video that you've made? Oh, God. It's so hard to pick. I love so many of them, and they're all so different. Like, even the earlier ones, like, even though I don't think they're as of quality as my newer ones, I still, like, I like each of them for different reasons. Um, any of the ones where I get to be, like, angry and kind of lash out are kind of fun, because I get to, like, take out my anger on an invisible person. But I'd say probably, like, the top three were the fairy gay mother that I did with Dangerous. The self-harm comfort, because that, that's a really important topic to me. And any audio where I get to be the Dom girlfriend. I love doing those audios. Do you play any instruments? I don't. I used to play piano. I learned recorder in school. But I've never had the patience. I just sing. Do you live your life by any rules? Um, you know, I was going to say no. Because initially, like, thinking about it, I don't. But I actually kind of do. I've always kind of lived by... Hopefully I'm not dating myself here. But I used to love watching the Magic School Bus when I was a kid. And I loved when uh, Miss Frizzle, who was the teacher on that show, she would say, uh, take chances, make mistakes. Because that's kind of... You know, it's really worked out for me in life. You know, you never you never know what you can do or what opportunities will come your way unless you try and you're willing to make some mistakes. So I definitely say take chances, make mistakes, and jump on every opportunity that comes your way because you never know what it's going to lead to. Do you ever have writer's block trying to get your audios written? Yes. There's a reason that I haven't put out content in a hot minute because I've been having a massive, horrible run of writer's block lately. And I think part of it is just stress from stuff going on in my own life. Finally, it's over. I'm writing some new audios. There will be some coming your way very soon. But yes, I do get writer's block fairly often and it's annoying. It's the worst. Would you ever cook soup in a mug? I guess. I never have, but I guess one could if you wanted to. It'd depend on the size of the mug. Like, is it a little like teeny tiny coffee mug or is it like a big mug it would all depend favorite season of the year i love fall i don't know why i've just always liked fall are you friends with fangar yes i am she was one of the first um va friends that i met in this community and she's such a sweetheart are you all packed up and ready for your move <laughs> calling me out no i'm nowhere near packed up and ready to go. Um, I've got about three and a half weeks until I leave, so I'm getting there, getting all the final details ironed out, but I am not packed yet. Oh, this person had a few questions. Okay. Number one, does anyone you know in real life know about your channel? A very small select group of people know about it. A certain group of friends I've given the link to and given them the option to, you know, go listen to it. Um, my family, my immediate family, knows that I do this, but they don't know what the channel is. I haven't given them the link to the channel just because there are certain audios that I don't necessarily want them listening to. Um, but yeah, a very small select group of people know about it. Uh, number two, how, ha how has having your channel impacted your life? Oh, so many ways. Um, just personally, like, it's given me a creative outlet and a hobby that I never thought I would have and that I love so much. And it's boosted my confidence, like, to an insane degree. Not necessarily in terms of acting, because I've always kind of known I can act. I never knew I could make not safe for work stuff, so that's new. But it's boosted my confidence in terms of writing. Like, I never knew I could write stories like the ones that I write. And writing scripts is just so fulfilling and I never thought I could be like 
a script writer or a story writer like that. And so I'm very thankful that I've discovered that I can do that kind of stuff. Um, but in other ways too, I mean, I've met some of the best people through doing this. I have friends who I've met through doing this that I now consider family that I could not imagine my life without. Now I've come across such a supportive community of people. I mean, even coming down to, you know, if it hadn't been for this community, I never would have met my girlfriend. And I I can't imagine life without these people now. So it has impacted my life in so many ways. Uh, and number three, what are some things you would say to someone who would want to start their own channel? Just don't compare yourself to other people. That was my big hang up when I first started was I was comparing myself to really big VAs like like Dangerous and like Teacup. And, you know, you can't do that because you're never going to get anywhere if you're sitting there just like striving so hard to be like other people. Um, just find your own voice and your own stories to tell and you'll find your way. Um, the other thing is don't get caught up on, you know, can I write a good script? Can I, you know, I don't have the right equipment, that kind of stuff. I've done the vast majority of my audio so far. I've been recorded on my phone, um, just on my little earbud microphone. And I edit in, you know, a little app on my phone. So the equipment doesn't make a difference. I mean, and the, and the script writing ability, if you're concerned about that, you'll get there. It takes practice and a lot of patience, but just write from your heart and you'll get there. You'll be able to tell the stories that are in there that you want to tell. Where did you get your channel name from? Okay, so this is interesting. The channel name took me forever to come up with because I was like, I want to do something different, but also that expresses who I am as a person without giving too much away. So dork is what everybody calls me because I act like a dork all the time. Like anytime I do something silly or goofy or whatever, everyone's always like, oh, you dork. And so I've kind of taken that as part of who I am. I'm a dork just as my personality. But then a joke that I always make, you know, when people are like, oh, you're being silly or goofy or whatever, I'm like, but I'm delightful. And that's always been another joke that I make. I'm, I always say, you know, who could hate me? I'm delightful. So that's where delightful dork came from. What is your favorite music genre? I love Broadway and show tunes and anything kind of classical. Um, I like opera. I like jazz. Um, and that's not to say I don't like other genres of music too, but I've always kind of grown up listening to like show tunes and classical music. So that's just kind of what has sunk into my brain. But yeah, Broadway is my absolute favorite. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I think I'd want to be able to have telekinesis and move objects with my mind because I am lazy and I don't want to get out of bed to grab something. So if I can move it with my mind, it would make me very happy. Hello, I was wondering how many languages do you speak? And also, I wanted to thank you. You helped me through really bad times. You're a lovely person. So glad that I found your channel. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, I speak two languages fluently, um, English and Spanish. What slash who inspired you to start your channel? So I kind of already talked about that, you know, boredom, looking for a hobby to do, and uh, dangerous ASMR. Will you ever do a face reveal? P.S. I love your audios. Thank you. Um, I've gone back and forth on the whole face reveal thing. I'm not going to do one in the near future just because I don't want the privacy or safety of myself or my loved ones to be at risk. And I know that there's a chance that putting my face out on the internet could do that. If I could show my face with some kind of guarantee that myself or my loved ones would be safe from me doing that, then I would. But it's just a privacy thing. It's a safety thing. Um, what I always tell people, though, is if you look at my profile picture, like on Twitter or here on YouTube, the little icon with 
you know, me sitting in front of the yellow background with the pink shirt waving, that picture is as close to my face as you can possibly get in illustrated form. Um, like every detail in the face is exactly my face. So if you want some kind of inclination of what my face actually looks like, check out that illustration because um, it's nearly exactly me. Death or black metal? Love your content. Um, can't say I listen to either very much. So yeah, I don't know if I'm really the best person to give an opinion on that. <laughs> Would you rather be twice as beautiful or twice as smart? Oh, God. See, my inclination is to say twice as smart because, you know, what's in your head and your heart is more important than what you look like. But here's the thing. If I got any smarter, I would be such a freaking smartass, like more than I already am. And that could be, like, dangerous for the world, so twice as beautiful as I am now, twice as smart. You know what? I'm going to go with twice as smart because I want to be more street smart. I'm not as street smart as I am book smart, and I feel like I need to be more street smart. What are your tips for someone new to making role play audios? Um, yeah, like I kind of already said it, um, you know, just kind of let go of comparison, let go of any, you know, insecurities you have about doing it use what you have and just go for it and eventually you will find your place in the community what are your favorite character types to voice the sassy bossy ones because i am like that like in my head and in my deepest soul but in real life, I'm so not like that. So getting the chance to be bossy and be sassy is really, really fun. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? I want to go abroad so much more. There's so much of Europe that I haven't been to that I want to see. And I also want to go to Japan, like really bad. So yeah, eventually I'd love to tour like all of Europe because just goals. I want to go do all the touristy stuff. But I actually also have this trip in mind where I want to just travel the world and just go to all the world's like most unique famous libraries because I'm a nerd like that. I think that would be really fun. Tell us something that we don't yet know about you. It's hard because I forget what you guys don't already know. Um. Oh, here's a fun fact that you might not know. I was born with a condition called hip dysplasia and I've had several sur surgeries over my life and I have two screws in my left hip and I will pretty much have to have a hip replacement by the time I'm 30. So there's a fun fact. If you hadn't become a teacher, what other job do you think you might be doing? If I hadn't become a teacher, I would have gone into acting. Um, I really wanted to go into musical theater as my degree and I chose not to because a lot of people told me I didn't have the chops. So that's why I didn't. Um, but yeah, I would have gone into some kind of performing acting career. What was your biggest struggle when you started making audios? Just finding space to record because everybody was so loud because I didn't tell anybody at that point that I was making the audios so I was going out getting in my car driving to empty parking lots to record because there was no other space so that was definitely the the biggest struggle leggings or jeans leggings no question how do you like your eggs in the morning depends on my mood usually soft boiled and they have to be on toast do you ever plan on having a family, like adopting a child or getting a donation? Yes, absolutely. I want to have kids someday. Whether or not that will be through, you know, pregnancy, sperm donor, or adoption, um, I don't really mind either way. I just want to have kids someday. What pet would you have if you could or would get one? Like any kind of pet? Or just like a general pet? Because I really want my own puppy. But if it could be any animal, I really, really want a red panda. Because they're so freaking cute. 
Would you want to be roommates with any Disney princesses? Ooh, yes. Um, hmm. I mean, Ariel was always my favorite princess growing up. So her. But now that I think about it, I feel like Rapunzel would be a really good roommate because she spent a lot of time at home and knows how to keep a place clean. <laughs> Plus, she just seems fun. Or Belle with her library her love of books. Belle and I would get along very well. We'd be great roommates. What skill would you like to have? Any kind of athletic ability because I have none. Me and physical activity and sports do not mix. Do you have any tattoos or want any? I do have a tattoo. It's a Finnish word um, that I have tattooed and there are more that I want that I am currently planning. Um... I'll talk about those more maybe in the future when I get them done. Which audio was your favorite to do? By the way, I love your content. It's amazing. Keep up the good work. Um, I loved doing the fairy game other. That was so fun. And to have Dangerous collaborate with me was amazing. What advice would you give someone who wants to make audios but has never done it? And would you be willing to work with or collaborate with that person? Um... Again, I've already kind of answered the first part of that, but willing to work or collaborate? Absolutely. I love collaborating. Um, I love passing on any advice that I can give. Um, I don't know if people realize this, but I'm still really, really new to this game. I'm still learning stuff myself, but just stuff that I've learned in the past year, I love passing that on. Favorite script you filled? Ooh. Um, yeah, I filled a lot of people's scripts, and I love all of them. Because anytime people send me their story to bring to life, I always feel so honored by it. And they each have a special place in my heart. But thinking back on like the whole process, I loved doing um, the two uh, Arcade Chronicles. Those were so fun in terms of the character and the research I got to do for the sound effects and the video games. It was so fun. Um, and there was another one on... Uh, Reddit that I did a not safe for work called Catholic kink that I read and immediately fell in love with that character and honestly I don't usually rate my own acting ability but in terms of my acting performance in my audios I would immediately put Catholic kink in the top three I was really proud of my acting in that one um, and speaking of script fills, someone else asked about Spider Queen. Um, I get the question about Spider Queen a lot in terms of like when's the next part coming out or what's going to happen next. I don't write that series. Um, there's an amazing writer named uh, Waterway the Wordsmith who writes that series. And so they're the ones who put that together and not me. I just kind of wait for the next part to come out and then I record it. Uh, but I love seeing what your guys' suggestions are and I love your guys' enthusiasm for that series. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Congratulations, by the way. You're amazing at what you do. Keep up the great work. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, again, anywhere in the world, I want to go see Europe. I want to go to Japan. And actually now thinking about it, so I did my study abroad during college in Costa Rica. And I loved it in Costa Rica. And I definitely want to go back and visit more of Central America because it's so beautiful down there. I love it so much. Uh, what's the best joke you know? God, <gasps> my jokes are the worst. I just like really cheesy jokes. Like, um, like, why did the chicken go to the seance? To get to the other side. Ah! <laughs> so dumb, but it's funny. What's your breakfast of champions? Um, it really depends on what I'm feeling that morning. Uh, the problem is that I'm not a big breakfast eater, so usually I just end up eating, like, a granola bar. But, like, if I really had time to sit down and make breakfast, it would definitely include, like, fried eggs, toast, hash browns, and sausage. What's your signature dish? I wish I cooked more. I'm not, like, I'm not an avid cook. I can cook. I just don't do it very much. Um, but I love making, uh, spinach artichoke dip. I'm pretty good at making that. 
have you ever thought about making more music covers? Yes, I'm going to be making more music covers very soon, actually. I'm going to be doing some uh, songs from the musical Six, which I'm very excited about. And finally, the question I always get, this is a good one to end on, what is your sexuality? I am definitely a very proud, lady-loving lesbian. All right, that is it for the questions. Well, there was a lot of questions. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a stupid long audio, but thank you guys so much for your continued support over this last year. It seriously means the world to me. I'm so glad that I get to be here and keep making these audios for you guys. It's so much fun, and I'm glad that you guys keep listening. Um, I will be coming to you again later this week with some more new stuff for you. And again, just thank you. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah. Bye!